Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, thanks for stopping by. It's in the middle of hay season right now and we are running, running, running. Uh, we got a lot of hay on the ground that we done got up and now it's time to start hauling out. And we typically keep a gooseneck hooked up to our trucks and then, you know, whenever we get off work or we get it done doing whatever we're doing, you know, we can just go straight to the hay field and start loading hay and bringing it out and everything. Uh, I've still got a regular bed on the back of my truck. And I I like to always keep a cooler during these hot weathers. I've dehydrated a bunch and, and wound up in the hospital with IVs and stuff. So I always like to keep a cooler with me and I always like to keep it iced down and everything. Now this may just me being lazy or what have you, but you know, getting over in the bed of the truck with the gooseneck hooked up, it's somewhat of an inconvenience a little bit. Uh, you know, it's kind of harder to when you got a gooseneck hooked up. And even then when you don't, you know, just getting over in there, if it's away from the tailgate, it makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, and the way that I run my mobile business, I've got everything set up on a trailer. So I can unhook my trailer and I can have my truck to go haul hay and stuff like that when I need to. Uh, so getting a trailer hooked up and everything all the time or the majority of the time it made it hard for, harder for me to get in the back of the truck with the cooler uh to the cooler so i've got a big old ranch hand bumper on the front of my truck and it's got a receiver hitch that's in the middle of it so i'm not gonna lie i did see the idea on somebody else they actually manufacture coolers and then they manufacture racks to fit their coolers but i thought that i had a welder and i had some scrap metal so i could make my own and uh, I'll show you what I came up with. So this is what I came up with. I've got two by two square, met, uh, square tubing that I made all my frame out of. And I built it so I could bit, put a bigger cooler on it if I wanted to, or a smaller cooler. That's why I had the expanded metal if i wanted to drop down a size or somebody had a different size cooler or something like that we could go on there uh i had straps originally on these but i didn't trust just a knot to hold them while we're going down the road so welded those on real quick and then got some weldable hinges so i could make my own holes I didn't have to go off of somebody else's holes. It's just flat. It didn't have nothing in it when I got the hinges. And well, uh, drilled my own holes out to fit what I wanted. Then I got some of these so I could turn them, I guess right here, and really cinch that cooler down. And the only movement that's in it is the little bit of slack in this right here. And that's the only portion that moves. It's cinched down and everything. Uh, the design that I seen, the cooler actually came with brackets pre-made into it. And, you know, it was all kind of fancy and stuff like that. And I already had this cooler. And I really didn't want to buy another cooler and buy a rack and spend a whole bunch of money. Kind of cheap, not going to lie. So... I just decided to go ahead and build this system right here. It has been extremely convenient. I'm not gonna lie, because instead of reaching over in the back of the truck or something, I can just walk right here, flip these open, open it up, get my cooler. Uh, you know, no offense to anybody, but my pop's a little older. I got an uncle that rolls with us in the hay field and he's a little older. So climbing over into the bed of the truck to the cooler, you know, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult on them. So this right here is a little bit more convenient on everybody. You just walk to the front of the truck. It sticks, it sits right here to me. And it just makes it easier for everybody to get into the cooler. And just a small update on the shop. I finally got a back wall and then I got all of this wall done. So technically, and everything is a mess right now. I've got where I'm running wide open doing everything I'm doing. I got everything kind of piled up in the floor because I ain't got a spot for it. So technically all I got left to do is run my metal all through here 
and then put a door in, and then I plan on putting a walkthrough door right there. And uh, this is my newer truck. It's a 2017 F-250. It's got the 6.2 liter gas motor in it. Four wheel drive, got the step bar, got the ranch hand front bumper on it. I put a gooseneck hitch in it. I absolutely love this. It's truck. the nicest truck that I've ever had now. It will never replace the green and white truck, the 7.3. Uh, still got issues with the transmission on it. I got to take the transmission out and drop it out and figure out what's going on with it. And uh, I actually plan on, whenever I get the transmission fixed, putting a flatbed on it and kind of making it my permanent welding truck, like putting the flatbed on it and mounting everything uh, to it and then just letting it be my welding truck and that's going to be its dedicated life because... It's got a lot of miles on it and I really do love that truck and I won't be driving it as much if it is my welding truck as I will this right here for my daily driver. Cause all the welding that I do is a side business. I have a day job that I go to and I really want to start babying that truck and kind of restoring it and putting it back to where, uh, where it was several years ago. Uh, there's a lot of history in that truck and I really enjoy it. So, hey, I thank y'all for stopping by. Uh, hope y'all liked the design on the cooler. I thought it was kind of cool. It may be me just being lazy, but I feel like it's more convenient for everybody. Uh, while we got trailers hooked up in and out of the hay field and stuff like that. Uh, and I like it a lot because when I don't need it, I can slide it off and just kind of set it in the back of the truck. And when I do want it up here, I can you know, just pop it back in. So, hey, I appreciate y'all stopping in. Uh, appreciate all the views and the likes and the comments and stuff. You know, if y'all got any suggestions or anything like that, drop them down in the comments. We'll have a conversation about something. Uh, I always enjoy learning new tech, new tricks and trades and stuff like that. So, uh, y'all have a good evening.